So the Conservatives have retained their seat in the new by-election, with UKIP beating Labour into second place. UKIP candidate Roger Helmer joins us live from Newark this morning. Good morning to you. So how are you feeling then? Is it disappointment or are you pleased to have got to second place? Well, I'm feeling extremely tired because I've only had about three quarters of an hour's sleep in the last uh, 36 hours. Um, but of course, if you stand in a, a Westminster election, you stand in order to win. And winning is better than coming second. But nonetheless, we're pretty satisfied with the outcome. We were up against a very large Conservative majority, which we've more than halved. Uh, and in our own case, we've increased our, our share of the vote sixfold since the general election. That's enormous progress, and we're very satisfied with it. It's an impressive uh, performance, uh, Mr Helmer, but it perhaps suggests to some people that you are merely attracting protest votes and you won't replicate your success at the European elections. What's your response to that? Well, first of all, what we're finding is that a much higher proportion of people who voted UKIP in the Euro elections are carrying through to the Westminster by-election in this case. And that's a very important, a very significant development. Uh, so we think that's a good sign that indicates that uh, next year, uh, as we come to the general election, UKIP will be very strongly placed. Of course, some people vote UKIP as a general expression of dissatisfaction with the legacy parties, but we're finding that most of them are voting UKIP because they really believe in the issues we're talking about. They believe we should govern our own country, they believe we should control immigration, and so on. When we look at the input from the party leaders there in Newark, we know that uh, David Cameron visited four times. Nigel Farage only visited twice, though, to campaign. Do you feel a bit let down that he didn't put more effort into having a presence there in Newark? Not at all. The Conservatives had more to lose, and the fact that a Prime Minister would come on four occasions to one by-election is just a measure of their panic. We've had enormous support from the party and from Nigel Farage. We had a brilliant pre-election rally last Saturday before the election, uh, and he was here on election day. I worked with him through most of the day, so I'm very, very comfortable about that. What's your response, uh, Mr Helmer, to the thought from many people that the reason for your success is nothing to do with what you have to say about the NHS or the cost of living, but everything to do with what you have to say about immigration? Well, immigration is clearly the major national issue on the doorstep. There were, of course, many local issues in Newark, including the A&E. Uh, but we listen to the people, we respond to the people, uh, and all I can say to you is that immigration actually matters to people a great deal. All these other issues, of course, matter too. Uh, jobs, energy prices, cost of living, and people are starting to realise that those issues too are directly affected by Brussels and by our EU membership, and we cannot resolve those issues until we resolve the European question.